This sudden calcium demand places arduous physiological challenges to the calcium homeostasis in the dairy cow. And for cows that have calved several times, this becomes increasingly harder. The risk that the cow will not rebalance her calcium level immediately and the consequent risk of getting milk fever increases significantly after the second lactation and at the third lactation, a significant increase of milk fever incidences starts. This curve shows the increasing amount of milk fever incidences observed in cows with an average milk yield of 7,900 kilograms per lactation period. Regarding cows with higher milk yields, the incidences of milk fever increase dramatically, as you can see on this chart. Contrary to the obvious signs of milk fever, subclinical milk fever is often not recognized, although 5 out of 10 cows suffer from it. Whether acute or subclinical, every ill cow means high costs of treatment and obviously a risk of reducing the milk yield. When a cow's immune system is weakened by milk fever, she's consequently more disposed to additional diseases and bears a high risk of recurrence. Faced with all these negative effects and the risk of dying cows, it's obvious that milk fever results in substantial economic losses.